Welcome to Nitro Licks. Today's lesson is I'll Wait by Van Halen. It's the guitar solo. It's the only guitar part in the song. Um, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you like my channel, subscribe to it. Let's go ahead and dive into this solo. Uh, it's an all-time solo, uh, one of my favorites. Really creative, uh, really hot. It's just real screamer. Um, not as difficult as it sounds, really. Uh, there are some tricky parts, but I think most intermediate guitarists can play it with enough practice. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, we're gonna start off with a natural harmonic on the seventh fret on the G string. And then you 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 do your little uh, dives or dips with your whammy bar, tremolo bar. And you kind of want to mute that too, right? I'm I'm using my pick hand to to, to cut that off, right? You dip down twice. Okay, and then the third time that you do the dip. You leave it, leave the whammy bar down and grab that 12th fret on the D string and then bend it up as you release the tremolo bar up. Like that. It was awesome. All right. So after that. Ten on D to twelve on A, back to ten, then up to twelve. And then the tenth and twelfth fret on the G string. Back to ten on the D, and then ten eight on the A. And get those in there. Next, you've got the, so you slide up to 10, down to, or slide up to 12, down to 10 on the A, 14 to 12 on the D, 16 to 14 on the G. Then uh, up to the high E, the 17th fret, a real, like a, a full step bend. Fifteen up to eighteen. Seventeen a half step bend. Back to fifteen. Seventeen. Fourteen on the G string, then back to the fifteen on the B. Seventeen, a break into the seventeen. Thirteen. Fourteen on the G. 15 on the D, but you could also do this way. 12 on the high E, 13, 14. So either. And then there's this, this real nasty lick that everyone loves. So break into the 12th fret on the high E, 10th fret. 13th fret twice, 12th fret, and then this little hammer on him, pull off twice. And then pull off to the 10th fret. 
down to the uh, 13th fret on the B, back to the 10th fret, full step bend, release down to the 10th fret on the B, 12th fret on the G, and then another full step bend on the B. So the whole lick is like this. All right, next lick, pre-bend. You start with a full step bend on the 20th fret B string, B string and release it. I like to use my ring finger, or I mean my middle finger, so that I can use my ring finger to grab that because if I do it this way, try to grab with my pinky, it's just, it's just, it's not as comfortable for me. However you want to do it, start with that pre-bend. Release down. Bend back up, grab the 20th on the high E, and then another quick full step bend. And then the same thing, except 18th fret full step bend. All right, and then there's this really fast run. For me, this is by far the hardest lick in the song. I don't know that anyone besides Eddie Van Halen really knows how to play this. It's hard to hear what he's even doing <clears throat> because it's so fast. And his, uh, the guitar track is so affected, the lot of the notes just kind of blend together. This is what I think it is. Eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten on the A. Uh, ten, eleven, twelve on the D. Seven, nine, ten on the G. Eight, nine, ten. 8, 9, 10, 13. Then pull off of that uh, D string, the third fret to the open. Then up to the 12th fret, high E, 15, B, 14 G, rake, 10, 13, 12. Then we're gonna end on the first fret on the G. Grab that with your whammy bar and just really give it a good shake as you slide up to the seventh fret. And then when you get up to the seventh fret, you're gonna do that dive bomb on the natural harmonic on the seventh fret. Um, I don't have the Floyd Rose uh, fancy tremolo, locking tremolo to do dive bombs. Uh, I'm not even going to attempt it with this tremolo. That's the best I can do on the tremolo, but that's how you play it. That's it. That's the solo for I'll Wait by Van Halen. Uh, you play it like that, you're going to make your mom proud, your dad proud, your siblings, cousins, grandparents, extended family. Everyone you know is going to be so happy that you can play such an awesome guitar solo so well, right? Okay, until next time.